Sake before the poll. Our political correspondent Carolyn Quinn reports from Uxbridge. Well done. Hello there. I'm voting for you. Good. <laughs> Please come out and do it again. A prime ministerial visit always attracts attention, but these crowds in Uxbridge were witnessing history in the making as Tony Blair joined the campaign trail. Despite the turnout today, there is unhappiness locally that the candidate who reduced the Tory majority in May has been replaced by another, chosen by the party's by-election panel. The Prime Minister, though, was brushing such concerns aside. What counts for Uxbridge is to have a, someone who's thoroughly new Labour, total supporter of mine, going down to Westminster and making the case for the people of Uxbridge. And if I were here, that's what I'd do. Okay. Thanks very much. The Conservatives are seeking to capitalise on what they say is the government's arrogance. The party chairman, Lord Parkinson, today staging a news conference to unveil a defector from Labour. A former Labour parliamentary candidate, he tried to be selected in Uxbridge. Now, though, he says he's had enough. I know that there is deep concern within the Labour Party at the way the government is behaving and the way the party machine is becoming centralised and overriding the wishes of local constituency activists. Local Labour activists unhappy at the selection process here in Uxbridge aren't going as far as Michael Shrimpton, but they are claiming that at least 30 of them are refusing to help on the campaign. Labour sources here, however, say that the campaign is unaffected, and as for Michael Shrimpton, they say he's acting purely out of sour grapes. I don't think it's to be taken too seriously at all. It was someone who was seeking the Labour nomination and when that was rejected has decided to bizarrely defect to the Conservative Party. With the campaign hotting up, the former Defence Secretary chose today to offer his support. Hello, Mike Butler. Hi. Dismissing suggestions that it should have been him fighting the seat. The Liberal Democrats too brought out one of their former MPs. Our candidate has full support of our, our members here and I believe he is the best candidate to represent the people here in Parliament given the circumstances we have today. The Prime Minister's visit was designed to boost Labour's chances, which party sources admit are by no means guaranteed as this is natural Tory heartland. Whatever next week's result, Tony Blair's parliamentary supremacy won't be dented. But all the parties know that as a test of his new government, it surely counts. Carolyn Quinn, BBC News, Uxbridge. There are 11 candidates contesting the Uxbridge by-election. It was caused by the death of the Conservative MP Sir Michael Shersby, who had a majority of 724.